This is Raptor News. Over and over again, Christians have been told by everybody the Bible is tampered with. It has been infiltrated. Everybody knows the Bible contradicts itself. Christians, if they want to use their minds and see, they can just go to Google and type in Bible or biblical contradictions and find all the contradictions. The Bible says the opposite of itself. It's telling you to do one thing and then it's telling you to do something in the opposite. Then Christians have to make a choice because the word was tampered with. You know, you can't lie and say the Bible is not tampered with. Uh, theologists and, and, and Christian scholars will tell you that none of the books of the Bible are original. They are all copies of copies of copies of copies copied over the years. And people have made adjustments and changes. That's why you got King James Version and all these other versions of the Bible. Now, when somebody is telling you the truth, you should hear them out. It's right there in black and white. Everybody can follow along. So in order to not be deceived, you should only hear God. Because anybody who is not listening to God goes to hell. And that is what Christ told you. Depart from me, you lawless. Those who refuse to follow the commandments of God. Jeremiah 17.5 Cursed is the man who trusts in man. Christ is a man. We're going to prove it in a minute. Jeremiah 17, 7. Blessed is the man that trusts in God. The God. The most high God. The eternal God that don't die on crosses. Christ is a man. John eight forty. Jesus said, but now you seek to kill me. A man. What is he? A man, it's in red, ain't it? A man that has told you the truth, which I have heard from God. If he was God or the Son of God, nobody had to tell him nothing. Why you got to hear from God? If all power was given to him, why you got to hear from God? If he ruling and regulating the earth, why you got to hear from God? If he is God, why he got to hear from God? Y'all deceived. 1 Timothy 2, number 5, there is one God. One mediator, the man Christ. Not the God, not the Son of God, just a man. It's all he is. Acts 2.22, you men of Israel, not the world, the world is deceived. Only the Hebrews hear these words. Jesus of Nazareth, a man, three times, you see it in red, right there vertical. A man, a man, a man, approved of God. Among you by miracles and wonders and signs which God did by him in the midst of you. As you yourselves also know, he is just a man and God did those miracles. He wasn't the God or the son of God. Those are lies that were infiltrated in the book. And again, three times Christ is what? A man. Common sense then tells you to what? Cursed is the man who trusts the man. All those Christians is going to hell. Only a handful of people is going to make it. Narrow is the gate. Why does the gate that lead to destruction? It's 3.4 billion losers who call themselves Christians. Let's keep going. Therefore, put no trust in man. Place all your trust in God. Is what the book is telling you. 1 Corinthians 3.21 Therefore, let no man glory in man. Christ is a what three times? Man. A man. Right? Psalms 118.8, it is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in a man. Why don't you do what's better? People act like they're scared to go to God. Oh, God is going to be mean to us, huh? We're going to get a free pass in the kingdom of God through Christ. No, you ain't. You're going to go to hell doing it. Psalms 40, number 4, blessed is that man that maketh the Lord his trust. Blessed is the man who trusts in God. You can't be damned. You can't go to hell. You can't get to heaven. And on judgment day, God is going to say, I told you to worship Christ. Find that in the Old Testament. We already know the New Testament is infiltrated. 
Christ is warning you that in order not to deceive, be deceived by man, trust no man. In order not to be deceived by man, trust no man. Matthew 24, 4. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. Christ the man, Paul, John, Mark, Luke, Matthew, we only listen to God. Take heed that no man deceive you. Is Christ not a man? Y'all going to make him into something else? Mark 13, 32. But of that day and that hour, no man knows. If he was God, he would know, wouldn't he? Not the angels which are in heaven, neither the Son, but the Father. Only God. So if he don't know the hour, he ain't God, and neither is he the Son of God. Ephesians 5, 6. Let no man deceive you. And just keep telling you that. Stop putting your trust in men. It's called idolatry. To sit there and worship and trust a man like y'all doing with Christ. Let no man deceive you with vain words. For because of these things cometh the wrath of God. Not the wrath of Christ. Not the wrath of the Lamb. The wrath of God upon the children of disobedience. It's telling you who going to come and, and destroy you with fire. Second Thessalonians 2 number 3. Let no man deceive you by any means. In order to not let a man deceive you, trust no man. Christ is what? A man. You can see with your own eyes. You can go back and find a verse. And study it directly. Christ is directly telling you to stop worshiping him and worship God only. Matthew 6, 24. No man can serve two masters. How y'all serving God and Christ then? If you're going through Christ, you can't never get to God. Because he already told you, you can't serve two masters. You're going to tell God and Christ they wrong. Oh, I can serve you, God and Christ. And I love you both the same. Sure you do. All you Christians love Christ. Your head is up his ass. And, and bent up there. Luke 4, 8. Jesus spoke and it's written. Worship the Lord your God and serve him only. Did it tell you to serve somebody else? He told you, number one, you can't serve two masters. Now he gave you somebody to serve. Worship the Lord your God and serve him alone only. You can't serve two masters. Matthew 20, 28. The son of man did not come to be served. Y'all can go read the whole verse all you want to, but it's directly telling you, you only supposed to be serving God and y'all know it. Y'all worshiping Christ in vain. Matthew 15, 9. They worship me in vain. What does the rest say? For laying aside the commandments of God, you hold to the traditions of man. All you're doing is following conjectures and lies from men then. Isaiah 26, 4. Trust you God forever. Let's go back up to it again. Now you got to make a choice. Cursed is the man who trusts in man. Christ is a man. You can't take that away. It straight up says he is. He was born out of a coochie of a woman. He is a man in all aspects. Jeremiah 17, 7. Blessed is the man that trusts in God. This is Raptor News.